Good morning. It's a beautiful, crisp, cool morning here in North Carolina. It's Wednesday, and that means it's anti-procrastination day. We're going to work on those things that we've been putting off and putting off. I wrote a little bit about that on the blog this morning at TammyFox.net, so you can check it out over there. But I give a few tips about strategies to help you deal with those things that you've been putting off. Today, for your mission around the house, we are going to detail clean the shower. I use a quick little spray and wipe down the walls, and that takes care of it. My Fly Lady Purple Cloth cuts through the um, soap scum that's developed, and it cleans really quickly and easily that way. So if you've not detail cleaned that shower or tub in a while, let's do that today. For your blessing around the house, let's wipe the windows and the mirrors. This one mission takes me just a couple of minutes because I just hit the spots that are dirty and smudged and move on. I go quickly with a wet cloth, follow it up with a dry cloth, and I'm done. If you leave, live in a dry climate, you may be able to get by with wiping with the wet cloth, but even in the winter, we still have humidity in North Carolina. So I always follow up with the wet cloth, and that takes care of drying it and making it sparkle, and that makes me happy. For your holiday mission today, Mail any packages you got together yesterday, any cards, check your list. Do you need to pick up any more baking supplies? I'm going to be baking a little bit today, so I'm glad last week I checked my list and made sure that I had the ingredients I would need. And fortunately, the boys haven't used them all up. That does happen sometimes when you have teenagers who like to cook. You buy things and then they use them up before you get around to using them for your intended purpose but they have learned to ask before they use things because sometimes I have had a plan for them for something and they use my ingredients. It happens. They're gonna have pizza tonight. It's gonna to be a quick and easy meal because I have something I need to do tonight. And so I picked a quick easy meal that they would enjoy and I'll still have my usual healthy food. And pizza is healthy, it just doesn't work well when you're gluten-free. And gluten-free pizzas, I've not found one that's delicious yet. So I just have learned to avoid the pizzas, or if I have a piece, it's the really thin crust that doesn't have a lot of gluten, where it's not in a really thick, fluffy crust. So tell me what you did yesterday. I asked you some questions and had a few responses. So let me know what you did yesterday. I got my packages ready and took them to the post office, and our mailbox broke. So the boys and I worked on replacing the post yesterday, this morning we need to go put the mailbox back on the post and it's ready to roll again. And I even remember what year we put that post up because I guess you tie things together in your mind on events. And I remember that we put that mailbox up in 2005. So it was time for it to be replaced. Um, the wood had watered, rotted out completely and it just fell over yesterday. So it was a quick, easy fix in the afternoon. We got that taken care of, and then today we'll just put the mailbox back on because the cements had time to set up. So that's my plan today, is to get that mailbox up before the mail lady comes to deliver our mail today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what you're doing today that you've been putting off. I wanna hear that stuff for anti-procrastination day. So have a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you guys tomorrow.